Hi, uh, Earth Signs. It's L here to do a weekly read for you. It's going to be a quick read, uh, three card spread for each sign. We're going to start with uh, Capricorn, okay? All right, so your cards are flipping out already. So whatever comes up, comes out. Um, let's see, what are the messages for this week for Capricorn? We got the Four of Swords. Some of you need to rest, you may have low energy. You need to reconnect spiritually, mentally, emotionally. Then here's your the King of Pentacles that just fell out again. Another one popped out. Nine of Cups. Bottom of the deck, Justice. Looks like what you what you have coming to you is what you've put out. Karmically, whatever you put out is coming back to you. Some wish fulfillment is here also. Something you've been praying about, hoping for, wishing for. It's coming to you. could be with a Libra. It could be with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or an Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Whatever it is, it looks like it brings in a lot of fairness for you. It brings in a lot of balance. And you've been praying for this. His hands are crossed on this Four of Swords. Let's get an angel answers card for you. Trust. Nice. I think Libra got trust also. So some of you definitely could be dealing with a Libra. All right. So trust that situation is going to turn out in your favor. All right. Okay. And we're back with the messages for Virgo. Let's see what. And the messages for Virgo for this week. Three cards for it, Lord. Thank you for the messages. Okay, Virgo, you guys want the whole deck. Okay. Energetically, it's like Virgo is at a place of realizing what it is they want, trying to manifest newness. Um, new experience have come in for Virgo, and it's putting them in a place of thinking about uh, newness, practicality, but also luxury for some of you. Some of you may have the green eye. The bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Wands. Let's see. The High Priestess, the Ten of Wands, and Seven of Cups. Definitely, some of you are trying to listen to your intuition, listen to spirit in regards to you releasing a situation and allowing spirit to move on your behalf. And that's why you may be confused about a relationship, the Four of Wands. Confused about your stability. Confused about what you want. And you have options here. Some of you, like I said, you, you're contemplating newness. You're trying to be practical with it. But something's got you looking at different options. Not the cup that you, that you possess, but other ones. You're trying to figure out how to get there. Or get those cups. Release the burden of um, trying to figure out this relationship. So for some of you, it's an Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. You know that there's there's something hidden here, and you're just carrying it, and you're um, it's it's causing you to be emotionally unstable, or at a place of not knowing. in this relationship for some of you it's completely i see something i want i want something different i want someone different some of you you've taken on so much at work you've taken on so much in your family life the ten of wands you need to release it other options came in for you somehow 
And now it's got you at a place of wanting to release. Remain positive. Okay. Remain positive. I think because you get what you want in the end. If you do remain positive, you figure out what it is you want. You no longer live in illusion. Disillusionment about a relationship. Right now we're on to Taurus. What are the messages this week for Taurus? What do you have to tell Taurus this week? Energetically, some of you, some of my Taurus men, you have someone else that you're interested in. You're already in a relationship, uh, marriage. Five of yeah, five of spades. There's interference. There's jealousy. There's outside interference. There is another party. There's a situation where no one wins here. Maybe with an air sign. Yeah. Um, let's see. Three of yeah, three of diamond. Ace of diamond. Five of diamond. For some of my tours, people, you might be solidifying a contract or a. A job, signing a contract, getting more contracts in regards to maybe business. Some of you may be getting engaged here. We've got success in home and, and uh, business here. Definitely more business coming in. There might be jealousy surrounding that. Nothing but your energy. A new a new job you're having success here there is outside inter interference influence here lots of change for you legal problems legal issues legal some legalities here but it might be we're going to start getting a new home, a new new business, new contract, getting engaged. Let's see. Let's get an angel answers. Some of you might be, you have a third party. You might be, cut, you might be married to another earth sign and you're cutting somebody out. Yeah, let go. Or you feel left out, Taurus. Someone else has a third party. That they're building with. They have a this is a long standing affair. Let go. Whatever that means to you. If this if these messages resonate with you, please like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. It's much appreciated. Uh, all of my information is below. If you need to get a personal reading with me, go over to the website, send me an e email. We can schedule something, set something up for you. Uh, no earth signs that I am praying for you guys. Pray for me as well. I hope to talk to you guys next week for your weekly readings. Take care.